Hello, welcome to Comcast Newsmakers. I'm Ellie Pai Hong. Today, our topic for the show is helping the neediest areas of Chicago and advancing Catholic education. My guest for this discussion is Fred O'Connor. He is chairman's he is chairman of the advisory council of the Big Shoulders Fund. Fred, great to have you here. Thank you for having me. Uh, you guys do some great work. You go into the neediest Catholic schools in the neediest areas of Chicago, and you really help these kids get an education and pursue college, and they probably would not have been able to do so without the funds and the support that you guys provide. You're correct. We're very fortunate to have very generous benefactors who give uh, significantly out of their wallets, but the group that I run is more about hands-on involvement. There's only so many people that can write checks for several hundreds of thousands of dollars, and while we're blessed to have them, we find a great form of outreach is to reach out to professionals who have their busy lives but want to be involved, and that's what we do. We have 120 people, professionals in Chicago, that give of their time to be involved with the schools. And so how does that work? How does that relationship work? Do you deal with the kids? Do you deal with the schools? Is it both? Sure. Um, it, it, we have a, a, a wonderful outreach that includes all of those. So we have a, a very successful stock market program where people like myself go into schools once a month for an hour and teach the kids about the stock market. We have 40 or so schools participating, and it's a, it's a great way of engaging with professionals that way. We have uh, the chances for people to serve on boards. Uh, many of these school boards would welcome very much having prof professional outside advice, and we allow people the leadership chance to do that. You can mentor children. I mentor a young man at Holy Trinity High School, which has been a great experience and very, very much a learning experience for me. You go to parts of Chicago that you haven't otherwise been to. And another really fun way is you create opportunities for your alumni groups to be involved in service days. So I went to the College of the Holy Cross. We have a wonderful alumni group that goes out once a quarter and paints and cleans a school. The, um, uh, my Kellogg alumni group comes out and does volunteer work. Um, and, and I think they, they build tremendous community and they expose themselves to another great part of Chicago that they might not have otherwise known. And you provide opportunities for families too because we as a family have done that at a Big Shoulder School and it's such a great teaching uh, moment for the kids too. You're 100% correct. What, what has been really fun is on these service days a lot of times parents bring their children and so you have this multi, sometimes they bring their grandparents and you have these multi-generational efforts and it, it really creates a very, very fun environment. Mm -hmm. yeah. So it, your support of this organization can vary from your time to your wallet, mm -hmm. um, to your brain power in terms of teaching a class. It really takes very little effort in terms of um, giving back, but you, you get so much more in return. I, I think that's exactly right. You know, I, I, my day job is I'm a financial advisor for Northwestern Mutual. And why I mention that is that um, many, all of us in our, on, our, on our board are actively involved in a vocation, but we choose to be involved in a civic avocation. And why do we do that? Well, there's many reasons that motivate us, but one of the reasons is it's just darn fun. Mm -hmm. We get a lot of satisfaction out of it. Many of us cannot, cannot afford to write a big check. We've got kids in college, we're trying to fund our mortgage, but we want to be involved. And this provides that hands-on way of getting actively involved and getting a wonderful sense of feedback. And I'll offer, also offer this one other thought about service. All of us have difficulties in our lives. It can be very challenging, but one really nice way of being involved is, is to, to take the time and do something for others, and that gives us a great sense of purpose. Yeah. Well, thanks so much for your time today. appreciate you telling us all about it. For more information, you can go to BigShouldersFund.org. Thanks so much. Thank you very much. This hour's Newsmaker has been Fred O'Connor. I'm Ellie Pai Hong. We'll see you next time on Newsmakers.